Let's look at frequency probability. So frequency probability is determined by how often an event occurs or how often a proposition is true, depending on how, how you want to look at it. Uh, you know, this is different from logical possibility. Or logical possibility, you have to figure out all the things that could happen. And you know, you're, you're looking for your favorite outcome amongst all of them. Okay, frequency, you don't have to. You just have to look for, you know, you, you've got your favorite event. You're trying to figure out how often that thing happens. Uh, and then you just measure how often it happens in a, you know, selection, right? In a given time span, a given uh, selection of evidence or, or, or situations, that sort of thing. Now, frequency probability, you know, it's not the same thing as logical possibility. Right. Uh, frequency probability ha very definitely has its uses. Uh, we use it a lot, well actually we use it a lot to determine whether there are causal relations or what the causal relationships are. And we'll see that, yeah, yeah, we'll see that more when we look at uh, um, what's called Mill's method. We'll see that in a couple of chapters. Um, and you know, it's really great for determining whether there's a causal relationship and you know, between, you know, between what two things or, or more the causal relationship occurs. Okay, so it's it's useful, by the way, it's useful for determining whether there's a causal relationship, and that in turn would be useful for propensity, which we'll get to in a little bit. But frequency is not the same thing as propensity. And frequency is very, very definitely not the same thing as logical possibility. Okay. So you're looking at how often the thing occurs. Now, sometimes there's overlap, and sometimes there's even a way to like add more evidence using frequency, say, in addition to something like propensity or in addition to logical possibility. So for example, <laughs> returning to our coin case, right, the, for the logical possibility, right, what, we're, what we figured out is that the probability of coming up heads is 50-50. Okay. Well, suppose you've taken that coin and suppose you've flipped that coin a solid, I don't know, 100 times. And then flipping that coin 100 times, you found out, well, you know, Golly, this is a little surprising. 38 times it came up heads and 62 times it came up tails. Well, that's really different from the logical probability that the, the probability we got from logical possibility. Right? Logical possibility tells us the chance of coming up heads is 50-50. With this, you know, testing with the frequency, well, it's only 38%. Right? Oh, that's interesting. You know, that's kind of weird. So maybe what you have to do is keep flipping that coin. So, you know, just any set of 100 doesn't determine the frequency. You have to have larger and larger sets. And we'll, again, we'll see that when we look at some, some of these argument forms, specifically um, uh, 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 statistical syllogisms. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing with frequency probability. That's, a t that's statistics. Right? 100, believe it or not, 100 is not enough of a sample size. You know, you keep flipping it out, you're probably going to get different results. Okay. So frequency probability is is not the same thing as logical possibility, and sometimes it's over. And sometimes it might tell you, right, that the logical po uh, possibilities are actually off. So using that example of the coin again, suppose I keep flipping that thing a thousand times. I've got a really boring weekend, right? I'm <laughs> flipping a coin a thousand times, and you know, in the long run, it turns out that coin only comes up heads twenty percent, you know, twenty-seven percent of the time, but it comes up tails. You know, 70, the other 73%. Well, if that happens, well, then it's going to tell you something interesting. Namely, you don't have a fair coin. Right? So frequency can tell us something more or something different than logical possibility, but it isn't necessarily that one's just you know, obviously better than the other. It, it does depend upon the circumstance. And again, another advantage with frequency po uh, probability, you don't need to figure out everything that's possible. You're only looking for your desired outcome. Let's move on to propensity.